Hi, um, can you guys hear me? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, great, great. So first of all, I want to thank Wani for such a wonderful introduction and also the Venture Grab team for um, in, uh, for for organizing this event and inviting Edwis. So my name is Ida T and I am the Franchise Development Lead of Edwis Preschool Franchise. So today, I'd like to share a little bit with you guys about my company. So, okay. So just to give you some background information, at least we actually started in 1987. So we have been in this industry for more than 30 years and currently we have around 67 centers across Malaysia. So um, we started doing franchising in 2014 and in 2015, we got our books, materials, everything sent into measure of education. So at Wies, we are an officially recognized preschool program by the Ministry of um, Education in Malaysia. Okay, so why at Wies franchise? So before that, I'd like to talk a little bit about why education business. Because um, before this, we have my Alexa, which makes me really crave for Alexa and a lot of uh, other different business. So um, why do you guys want to choose Edwis this, um, education out of um, so many different industries to invest, right? So first of all, because everyone needs education. So I believe um, today, the participants today, a lot of you guys are parents, okay? So as a parent, you know that kids, all the kids before the before going to primary schools, they have to go to preschools. And with that, we are in necessities. And it also leads to my second point, which makes us an, an um, recession-proof industries. So um, in preschool industries, um, we are really affected by how well or how bad the economy is. But um, let's take this pandemic, COVID-19, as an example. Of course, everyone's being affected. But during this time, even though schools are not allowed to open right now during EMCO, okay, um, we, are, we are still having online classes going on. So parents are still receiving service, the kids are still receiving education, and hence, we are still receiving school fees. And something I'd like to share very proudly is that last year, in the year of 2020, where almost like more than 80% of the time we are actually in the lockdown, at least we actually opened 10 new outlets across Malaysia. So um, I guess that's, that, that, that has already proved my point, okay? And at the same time, um, opening a preschool, it is also a compassionate job because it's not just about the business. When you're opening a preschool, you're actually bringing quality early childhood education to your community, okay? So um, you're actually helping the kids as well, bringing better education, uh, giving them a chance to go through um, this Edwis education, okay? So... Why do you want to choose Edwis? So if you guys have been following us since the very start of this, um, beginning of this um, uh, this event, you know that other than Edwis, there are a few other brands that are doing um, franchise, preschool franchising, okay, in Malaysia. So among all the brands in Malaysia, um, preschool brands in Malaysia, why do you want to choose Edwis as your franchisor? So this is because um, of the support and services that we'll be providing. As our um, franchisees, you'll be given a bi-monthly center consultations, which means at most every two months, we'll provide very detailed consultations uh, in terms of your school operations, how are schools doing. Usually what we'll do is that we'll actually go to your centers physically to make sure everything goes well. And of course, in between our visits, we have ongoing support through phone calls and chat. So which means you always have a support system. So if it's, let's say, something happened to your schools or you need you face any kind of challenges, you can always get to us, okay? And this is very important, I think, to start a business because I think it'll take off a lot of stress from an entrepreneur or business owner when you know that you always have a support system, okay? Secondly is that in Edwis, we have have this 12 modest teachers training annually. So we take, we take trainings very, very um, seriously because we believe that in order to carry out a very good program, first we need to have very good quality teachers. And we have monthly teachers training, which is compulsory for all our teachers to attend. Other than that, we also have this non-academic activity support. So in Edwish program, we have a series of non-academic activities where we'll go on every year. For example, we have um, sports days, puppet show presentation. So for all these events, we'll give you all kinds of support from the very start, including training again, okay? And then when you do the planning, so we actually go through and then we'll um, go over to uh, make sure everything goes well during our center consultations to make sure the um, academic, non-academic activities are going on as well. So again, you always have us as your support system. And at the same time, in Edwis, we also have this franchising and facilitators career path. So we put in a lot of effort to train our teachers, right? So we want to make sure our teachers are always with us. So with that, we actually design a career path for our teachers. So let's say when they first join our school, they might be an assistant teacher or junior teacher. With the training that we are providing and the experience that they're gaining from our schools, how can they climb up their career ladder 
from teacher assistant to teacher, senior teacher, eventually they might be a supervisor and a principal. And that at the same time, it is also our franchises expansion plan. So um, unlike some of the business, um, for preschools, we actually have a capacity because depending on our premise size, how many kids we have fit in, right? So once you reach our capacity, then if you want to expand a business, so you need to open up new centers. And that's how the teachers that we have trained are coming to places as well. Okay, so you get to expand a business at the same time, helping your employee to reach your career goal. Okay, so um, I've been saying Edwis, Edwis a lot. So what, do, what does Edwis actually mean? So our name, Edwis, actually made up from two words. It's called education towards wisdom. So this is also our education motto, how we want to carry out our programs, how we want to teach our kids, okay? Since we're on a point of program, I'll also like to share with you a few of our program unique selling points. So this is why parents choose Edwis from all other preschool brands in the market, okay? So it will also be your unique selling point if you actually take up Edwis franchise, huh? Okay, so first of all, in Edwis, we have integrated eight famous educationist approach and theories, which includes Montessori, which is one of the very common ones in Malaysia nowadays, the Richard Emilia, also very famous in Singapore, um, the Vygotsky's approach, Suzuki's approach. So we actually combine eight different ones. So what we are doing is that we actually combine their best parts. For example, Montessori's best parts, um, according to our research and development team, the best part of Montessori's teaching is in teaching young children living skills and self-discipline team. So that's the part where we adapt in Edwis program. Whereas in language studies, we use Vygotsky's approach. In arts, creativity, learning, we use um, the Richard Milan's approach. So that's how we combine all. So from this, you can also see that Edwis, we are a very holistic program because we focus on every single aspect of a child's development. Okay, so next on, in Edwis, we have more than 1,600 different hands-on learning activities. So essentially, we are actually an activity-based school, which means we teach kids everything through hands-on learning activities. Because kids, they learn through their senses, right? They see, they hear, they touch, they smell. So during the learning process, more senses it involves, the faster they will learn. And also, learning activities from point of view of children is like playing. But um, we call it learning activities because every single activity that we do, um, they'll, have a, they'll have a learning goal where they will reach at the end of the class, okay? So next on, okay, is that in Edubis, we are using this thematic integrated learning approach, which means we have a theme in everything that we are teaching. So let's say if our theme is about my body parts, every subject, the language subjects, science, arts, math, even um, music, okay, will be revolving around the same theme. Which means at one time, the children will be focusing only on one theme, but they'll be learning it from different perspectives, different environment, okay? So they have a lot of reinforcement. They keep coming back to this theme. And what's more important is that they can make a lot of connections between things that they are learning, okay? So next on the fourth unique selling point in Edwis is that we have compulsory piano learning. And it's one of our unique selling points because we are the only franchise preschool in Malaysia that provides compulsory piano learning, which means all the kids in our schools get to learn how to play piano. Okay, piano learning, of course, is very interesting, but it's, a very, it's also very important in terms of a child's um, brain development. Because when you play piano, right, you have to use both hands and ten fingers at the same time. So it is a very, very good um, left and right brain development activities. So when the kids play every day in our schools, they actually exercise their brain. And according to research, it actually helps the overall brain development as well. Okay, so um, the purpose of us having this is also to enhance the overall learning experience of the kid. Okay. So, um, at the same time, we are also having this computational thinking program, which is something like coding for young children. But of course, kids age six and below, we are not really teaching them any kind of programming language like C++, Python, it's, it's impossible, okay? But what we are doing here is that we are teaching kids the concept behind coding. So we build them a foundation because eventually they'll have to learn a programming language in school, if I'm not mistaken, around 10 years old, okay? Uh, it's one of the new rules by our government. So what we are doing here is that we build them a foundation um, to teach them about logical thinking and all these concepts, okay? And last but not least, in terms of our program, is that we actually also having this Cambridge English Young Learners program. So this English program is actually the same syllabus that will be used by all, almost all primary schools in Malaysia, all the public schools and also the IGCS school, IGCSE schools. They are using the same syllabus, and they have this pre A one level, which is for five and six years old children. So that's the one that we are using, so that it's easier for the kids to transition into primary schools um, after they finish our program. So in Edwis, we have half day and full day program, 
uh, which cater to um, all parents' needs, okay, for our half-day programs at 2 o'clock and full-day programs at 6 o'clock. And we have two semesters a year. And also, um, for our program, we actually have five different levels, which is pre-nursery, nursery, K1, K2, K3. And with that, our program is suitable for kids aged 2 to 6 years old, okay? So, um, I would also like to um, share with you some of our compulsory learning subjects where we have three main languages, science, math, arts, music, which includes our piano, and indoor activities where we have puppet, drama, and dance, outdoor activities, which includes sand play, water play, physical play, and very interesting. Interestingly, is that we also do a lot of gardening stuff, okay? It's part of our science, science subjects. It's, a, it's kind of like a crossover of a science and outdoor activities. And for Mars Studies as well, CTP is a computational thinking program and also general studies. Basically, that's anything that's not included in any of the subjects over here. Okay, and for our learning materials, our textbook, workbook, exercise book, and storybooks. So all these books, they're all published by Edwi, so it actually, um, they are all aligned with our thematic approach and also all the activities that we'll be doing. And most importantly, I think, um, is that in Edwis, as a franchisor, we will also provide you a very detailed curriculum plan and guide. So basically, we will give you um, a table of what are all the activities that you need to teach, okay? So you can see from here, let's say this is our English subjects from week 1 to week 22. First semester, which means June to July. Every week, what are the activities that you need to do? What are the books that are involved, the readings, even the spelling as well? Okay, so everything is already well planned out by us. The teachers will just have to follow this. And each and every activities that will be given, we will also have a more detailed guide, which is like a lesson plan. So it will be like a step-by-step -step guideline before the class, how do you prepare during the class, the step-by-step -step guidelines. So um, our teachers have a very, very detailed guideline on how to carry out everything. And this is on top of all the trainings that we'll be giving, okay? And um, at the same time, in Adewis, we also have a lot of non-academic activities that we'll be doing because especially for kids so young, we don't want them to just focus on academic, just reading, writing, or calc uh, like doing math. There's a lot more things that they need to learn. So we have a series of non-academic activities where it aims to help children's um, soft skills development. So every activities where we do here, we do it with a purpose. For example, Storytelling and perpetual presentation, the purpose of it is actually to train young children's public speaking skills. So you never know, right? Kids age six and below, they need to start training it. But it's very, very important because this will also help to build their self-esteem and it will make it way easier to train them later on for all the skills and knowledge. For example, the other one, we have this project work creation. It's like a group artwork, okay? So you, you, you didn't think that... Um, um, group project where it just applies for college, universities. It's, it only also applies for kids in kindergarten, okay? So here are some of the pictures of our event. And one thing that I would like to point out over here is that in Adewis, one of our events called the singing presentation. And during the singing presentation, all children will be piano accompanied by another children. Okay, I'm not sure if you can see. I can't find my mouse actually. It's actually on the second row. The left most left um, pictures you can see that the kids they're actually playing the piano it's a piano accompanied um, singing presentation okay when we teach our kids something we want to make sure we give them a platform and chance to perform as well okay so um here are some of our merchandise where we have our uniforms sportswear what tumbler and mask clip holder okay next on i know I'm, I'm actually running out of time but i'd like to show you a little bit more um just pictures okay of how our school looks like um, so usually our schools, yellow color and orange color, yellow and orange are our color. So you can see that yellow is on the outside, orange in the inside. So um, we also have like a playground area. It's very important for children's physical skills development. And then we also have sand play, water play. And very importantly, our schools will always have a garden. No matter it's indoor or outdoor, we make sure we have a garden. Okay, because they are all learning materials for kids. And then um, more garden. And then this is for the indoor area. We have a common activity area. And in our schools, we also have a lot of learning corners, small, small areas, okay? But of course, all these things, it will be all designed by HQ. So when you find a place, according to the layout of your premise, we actually design your place to best fit um, all these at risk um, learning corners. And then we also have a music corner, art corner, reading corner, a puppet corner, science and math corners, and also, of course, our classrooms, huh? Okay, and then um, you can see this is the indoor playground, uh, sorry, indoor garden that I mentioned earlier. So even though some of our schools do not have outdoor areas in the shop lot, we still make sure we have the gardens, okay? And then um, this is like the open open space concept area. 
Okay, so um, I know today everyone here is very concerned about money, right? Figures. So investment opportunities for Edwys. If you wanted to open an Edwys franchise, the startup cost, okay, it's actually starting from two hundred thousand. Of course, it depends on several other factors on what the actual startup cost would be. But you can start a preschool with only with only two hundred thousand. And at the same time, at times like this, right, a lot of people are a little bit concerned about investing. So. During this time, especially, we are also doing partnerships. Okay, so let's say if you have less than two hundred k, but you are very interested in opening a kindergarten, you are very passionate in it. Come to talk to us. Okay, we have these partnership options available where you are able to start a preschool with even lesser than two hundred thousand. Okay, so um and. A few of the stats I'd like to share today is that the break-even point. So in Edwys, our break-even point is only 20 students, which means um, if your schools have more than 20 students, you are not losing money anymore. Okay, you are already making profit, and the ROI, the return on investment, based on the statistics from our franchises, it takes around 15 to 18 months. So let's say if you invest 200k in our business today, usually around like in within one and a half year, you'll get back your 200k investment. Okay, so um, the procedure I would actually like to further talk about it inside the breakout room. Okay, so I will just skip this slides because it's gonna take some time. Um, if you guys are interested to learn more, okay, please scan this QR code and then you will talk to me on uh, WhatsApp or you can go to our breakout room. And very importantly, just please scan the QR code even if you have very very small questions because we are having this five thousand ringgit cash voucher exclusively for this BOEX event, okay? So whoever that actually um, sign up eventually, okay, schedule an information session with us today. You can do it like next week, next, next week, but you send us a message today. And if you open before September 30th, okay, you confirm with us, you will get a 5,000 ringgit cash voucher. Okay, so it's exclusive for this BOEX event for people in this Zoom room today or in Facebook Live. Okay, so just make sure to scan this QR code. If you're unable to do so, you can also um, go to our go to our breakout room and then we'll give you more information about that. Okay, and if you like to know more um, about the figure part, uh, the profit projections, okay, just go to the breakout room or scan this QR code. Okay, that's all from from me today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed learning more about Edwys. Thank you.